Brian Shaw recently released a video entitled World's Strongest Man Full Day of Eating. Should have been entitled How to Give Yourself Heart Disease. The mainstream scientific consensus on both saturated fat and cholesterol is to keep them as low as possible. Let's follow along and total up the ludicrous amounts that Brian ingests. After which I will veganize his diet such that he could get the same amount of calories and macros, but with a fraction of the sat fat, zero cholesterol and several other health benefits. First up, bison from Trifecta. I love this, it makes my life easy. And I get eight ounces of bison with this meal. I'm adding one cup of chopped spinach. That's something I suppose. Dump that on top of the bison. So now that that is warming up, we are going to throw the eggs right on top and then just scramble it all up. Goddamn cholesterol bombs! I get four eggs with this meal. That's about 746 milligrams of cholesterol right there. Even mainstream nutrition advises to cap cholesterol at 500 milligrams per day. And the advice from those balance will often still end in heart disease. Do you know how much cholesterol is in a vegan diet? Zero. Zero cholesterol. And before any knuckleheads start spouting we need cholesterol, yes we do. We don't need it in our diet, which is why it's not considered an essential nutrient like omegas 3 and 6 essential fatty acids. We make all we need from plant precursors, but not enough to kill ourselves, so shut up with your nonsense before you even start. So it's uh... Slimy hen ovulations from the chicken's ass vagina, aka cloaca. So already 13 and a half grams of sat fat, which is likely more than your average healthy whole foods vegan will eat in a whole day. And 888 milligrams of cholesterol. That's 888 milligrams more than a vegan would eat in a day. Even a junk food one. I got four waffles with this meal. These are blueberry waffles and they're delicious. So I'm pretty excited about that. I get to have butter on them. I get to have syrup on them. Tons more sat fat and cholesterol, this time paired with free sugar, which will raise your risk for Alzheimer's and many other killer diseases. And then in addition, I get to have blackberries. The blackberries are super healthy, of course, and packed with antioxidants. Unfortunately, the rest of the diet is so terrible, I don't think this puny punnet's gonna make much of a difference. I'm having to guesstimate some of these quantities, but I've done my best job and matched the calories by the end of the video, so I shouldn't be too far off. Currently, I have them at around 68 grams of sat fat and 1,123 milligrams of cholesterol and a massively raised risk for all-cause mortality, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and stroke. Now, meal number two is a quicker meal. This is kind of a quick hit of carbs and protein. So what I will be having is grits. So I get three packs of grits and then I will be having a protein shake using our undefined nutrition Persist ISO. So this is a whey isolate. So I get three scoops of that. Grits are vegan, and if you don't want to pay people to shoot a perfectly healthy calf in the head so we can steal their milk to make the whey protein, you could use a healthy vegan alternative instead. Soy protein was found to work just as well in a study out of Rio de Janeiro University a short time back. Meal number three, and this is my pre-training meal. Bison patties is the first part, so I get 10 ounces. The next part is sweet potato fries, the entire bag is my portion for this meal. Those are nice and warm. So on top of the bison patties, we get to put duck fat. Now this is cruel, unnecessary, and full of even more harmful fats. How about nuts, seeds, or avocado for your overt fat choices? Or a big dollop of whole almond butter, lovely. It's like his dietitian is actively trying to kill him. Duck fat spread around. Honestly, I wouldn't eat that if someone offered me a million pounds. A little bit of salt, sprinkle that. So we've had free sugars and tons of sat fat already. The second and third biggest nutritional risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. Now salt, the number one dietary risk factor. I wouldn't call that a little bit either. In industry terms, we call that a shit ton. The final piece to this meal is plague spores, a gallon of arsenic, a hand grenade, Rice Krispie Treat, and you might be asking, why is a world-class athlete eating kiddies nonsense? Why are the Rice Krispie Treats so high? If these were down, 
uh, the boys would get into them and I would not have any Rice Krispie treats left, probably. So I like to hide them in my little stash spot up there. That seems to work pretty well. Until you release this video anyway. I'm the only one that can reach up there. Thank God you haven't got any chairs in your house, hey. We're looking at a massive 101 grams of sat fat and 1,394 milligrams of cholesterol for the day. When are we gonna eat the Rice Krispies? <laughs> that kid is adorable and it looks like they have a fantastic relationship. I hope Brian changes his way before it's too late. It's really heartbreaking sometimes when people won't let new information in. As I said, I'll offer him an option at the end, which means he could still compete just as well, but hopefully not be the orchestrator of his own demise. All right, guys, just finished up training and we are on to my post-training meal. So we're gonna do the bison first. I've already got this weighed out. It's 14 ounces. So I'm having spinach with this meal, roughly one cup, so not a ton, but I just kind of do this like a, uh, kind of like a side salad uh, with the spinach, so throw that in there and that's definitely um, at least a cup full of spinach there so that's perfect and then on top of that I just throw in a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette got nice fresh rice uh, thanks to my wife I'm not gonna take credit for cooking this but Carrie took care of me so I don't want to take credit for it but she always tends to remember things that uh, that I forget sprinkle a little bit of salt on here and then now we are doing marinara on top of this literally delicious so yeah well that little lot likely had a full day's rda for sodium in it no wonder it was tasty why you'd need to add the other salt is beyond me we're now at a whopping 129 grams of sat fat and 1672 milligrams of cholesterol a healthy level of sodium is under 1,500 milligrams for the day. He's currently 4Xing that just with his food. Never mind the extra that he's piling on top. Last meal of the day, we've got a salad. So we got the spring mix. Do about a bowl full of that here. On top of that, we've got the balsamic vinaigrette. Cut this open and we get 14 ounces of the salmon. This is a uh, sweet potato that's already done. So that's already heated up here as well. And I get five ounces mashed sweet potatoes, which are delicious. A little bit of salt on top of this as well. Honeycrisp apple and these uh, are delicious. Total so far for the day, a gargantuan 132 grams of saturates and 1,954 milligrams of cholesterol. That's 4X the amount that mainstream science recommends and 1,954 milligrams more than you'd get on a vegan diet. The last thing that I get to eat is my pre-bedtime shake. I get three scoops of this. We are gonna throw in some of the mini cheesecake treats. Now this is not Nathan Payton approved. He's referring to his dietitian. It's a load of sat fat and sugary junk though, so I'm sure he'll be fine with it. I get it, Brian needs a lot of calories to fuel his large frame. There are healthy ways to do this though. For example, the cherry cheesecake from my Virtuous Vegan Desserts cookbook is highly calorific. It contains tofu, nuts and dried fruit and tastes phenomenal. I bet my life that it's more delicious than those sugary abominations. As you can see, the plastic is still on this, so I've done good. Well, you're about to take the plastic off and eat some, so does that mean that you're fully aware that this is not a good idea? I will point out there's 54 of these in here. They have to be pretty small, so let's break them open. Let's just see what we got, and then we'll make a call on how many of the mini cheesecake treats is the right serving size. Zero. I feel like that's fair. That's that's a not overdoing it. There's six of them there. They're really small. So I'm going to add those in. Yeah, hopefully Nathan signs off on that. I'll maybe text him tomorrow and see. I don't think he gives a shit. As long as you keep giving him your money, I'm sure that he'll gladly give you good news about your bad habits. So massive amounts of fat, including a ridiculous 177 grams of saturates and a heart stopping 2,269 milligrams of cholesterol. There's also a whacking 13X the RDA for iron. Were this all plant derived, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. In this case, the intestines would be able to block most of the excess from entering the bloodstream. 
Unfortunately, this is mostly animal-based heme iron, which our bodies are only a fraction as efficient at blocking. Iron overload issues are likely to arise sooner or later, and there's a massively increased risk for cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. I've taken the liberty of redesigning Brian's diet by switching the whey for a quality vegan protein, the animal flesh for high protein vegan foods such as tofu, tempeh, seitan and textured vegetable protein. And I've replaced the saturated fats and cholesterol of his old diet with healthy polyunsaturated fats coming from nuts, seeds and almond butter. The stuff that was already vegan, I've kept the same. Some of it is not optimal, obviously, but I can't see someone eating that extreme of amount of calories just from things like brown rice and beans. Health-wise, it will still be streets ahead of his old diet and no one else, i.e. the animals, will have to suffer in order for him to reach his goals. On the left is the data from his old diet and on the right, the veganized version. You'll see that I've maxed the cows exactly and the macros are almost spot on too. I've slashed the saturated fat from 177 grams to 55. Bear in mind that plant-derived sat fat, unless from coconuts or palm oil, has less of the really harmful types of saturated fat relative to animal products. You'll notice, of course, that there is zero cholesterol now too. Oh, but what about his poor muscles though? Vegan protein is inferior, right? Well, look at the two panels below. Is either of them short in essential amino acids? Ah, but the one on the left has more of the bronze chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine and valine. I've got to hold my hand up. Yep, it does. However, the one on the left is actually from the vegan plan. I switched them around to f*** with you. If you don't believe me, just program the Chronometer app with the same foods and see for yourself. If you'd like to optimize your health, body shape or performance with a vegan diet, then please check out my new online nutrition course. I've launched it at a low introductory price. It contains 14 videos, two cookbooks, and masses of downloadable and printable PDFs, including a complete nutrition chart for all ages and stages of life, so you can be sure that the whole family is thriving. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember that there's absolutely no need to f with animals. Now click this.